What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. Continuing on in my series of Universal Classic Monster Reviews. Very well timed that we're doing this review as Universal's new adaptation of The Invisible Man comes out later this month. Today I'm reviewing the sequel to the original classic, 1940's The Invisible Man Returns. The Invisible Man Returns was released in 1940. It is a loose sequel to the original classic, and I say loose as there's very little connection to the first film. The sequel was directed by Joe May, and in The Invisible Man Returns, unjustly accused of murdering his brother, a convict is turned invisible and given one last chance to find the real killer. And this movie stars Cedric Hardwick and the Invisible Man this go-round has played none other than Vincent Price. And what would be the first horror movie that he ever starred in. So I'm gonna actually get my negatives out of the way first. Uh, a lot of it has to do with I don't view this as a true sequel to the original. Invisible Man. There's not really that much connection with the original film. This movie has a completely different cast for one thing. And then the one connection this movie does have to the original film, the uh, scientist character in the film who makes Vincent Price invisible is the brother of the Invisible Man in the first film, Claude Rains. Uh, that's a bit of a stretch, to be honest. It did feel very forced to make this a sequel to The Invisible Man. And I didn't really buy it. This, to me, this feels like more of a reimagining of The Invisible Man, more so than a true sequel. So if you come in thinking this is a like a legit sequel to the original Invisible Man, I think you'll be disappointed. And the title is kind of misleading, too, because there's an Invisible Man, but it's not The Invisible Man from the first one. If it was Claude Rains, he truly be the Invisible Man who returned, but this is a completely different character who becomes invisible. But with that out of the way, this is a very fun and entertaining sequel. It does succeed in what it set out to do. I don't think it has as much ambition as the original film. I think the original Invisible Man I thought was more groundbreaking. Definitely had a lot more to say. I still enjoyed this for what it was. I think this sequel seems to be the more entertaining blockbuster route of the two compared to the first one. I think, I, like I said, it had a lot more weight to it. It definitely had a lot more to say. This one's just an entertaining horror film that has some suspense in there. It does have some tension. And you just enjoy it for what it is. A lot of it has to do with Vincent Price and the title role. I think Vincent Price does add a lot to this film. Like, you know that he's innocent of what his character is accused of, and he goes out of the way to make sure that uh, he can prove his innocence even if his, inv his invisibility gets him mad in the process. And Vincent Price excels at being mad, and so seeing that the first time he's ever been in a horror film is just awesome to see the beginnings of a horror icon. I love seeing Vincent Price in this role. Cedric Hardwick is good too in his character. It's hard diving into his character because of spoilers if you hadn't seen it. But I did enjoy his character as well and he definitely added a lot to the film as well. I'd say the visuals are just as awesome as they were in the original Invisible Man. It is quite impressive how they were able to make it look like Vincent Price was invisible the whole time. And yeah, there's, you can see some of the trickery and some of the effect shots. Nowadays, I think most notably, a famous scene in this movie where Vincent Price takes some clothes from a scarecrow, for instance. I think that scene has kind of shown its age a little bit, but still for the most part, it is very impressive what they were able to pull off and make it still pretty believable to this day as it was in 1940. I do enjoy this sequel, not as much as the first film. I think because Claude Rains did such a great job and that movie was also directed by James Whale as well who just embraced the overall tone and direction. That, that, this sequel I knew would fall flat a little bit but I still enjoyed it for what it was. 
you still got some entertaining moments in here and of course when you got Vincent Price and something and he embraces the role it's gonna be a lot of fun and that's what I got out of The Invisible Man Returns and it's definitely an enjoyable film even if it being a sequel to The Invisible Man is a bit of a stretch to be honest but it's still a lot of fun and I do recommend it for mild thrills and fun. I'm going to give The Invisible Man Returns a 4 out of 5 stars and on the 100 point scale it's getting a 75 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of The Invisible Man. It's part of my series of reviews where I'm reviewing all of the classic universal monster movies. As you might have seen in past videos or if you're new to this series I did buy this collection a while back that has 30 of these classic Universal monster movies. It's got all the classic Dracula films, Frankenstein movies, The Wolfman, Invisible Man, The Mummy. It also has Screech from the Black Lagoon, Fan of the Opera. It even has some of the crossover films, including the ones with Abbott and Costello. So there's definitely a lot of interesting movies on here. Most of these reviews are first time viewings for me, especially a lot of these sequels, which I think are more obscure for a lot of people. But it's definitely been an interesting series so far. I'll leave a link in the description below for my playlist of all the reviews I've done so far. I've already had reviews of Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein, Werewolf of London, Dracula's Daughter, and Son of Frankenstein, along with the Invisible Man Returns this video. I definitely have a lot more reviews coming very very soon. If you're a fan of this classic franchise which definitely paved the way for the horror genre that we know today, definitely take a look at that playlist down below in the description for you to see more. The next review I'll be tackling in this series is going to be The Mummy's Hand which is the first sequel to The Mummy also released in 1940. Definitely look forward to that video coming to this channel very, very soon. But if you've seen The Invisible Man Returns, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. And if your comments are respectful, your comments can be potentially seen in future comment shout out videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!